Eilish, you're obviously from Ireland, so tell us a bit about where you've come from. Where I've come from. So I'm from County Clare, which is the west of Ireland. Very rural Ireland, Kilmahull, County Clare. It's a small little village and I live just outside of it with my family. And Niamh, where would you come from? I'm from the south of Tipperary, um, a small village again. Um, it's called Kilcash and it's about 20 minutes from Clamel. Eilish, we've obviously met before. Do you want to tell us a bit about that, how we met? Yeah, so very random. I had been at home for a bit and heard you got drafted and you hadn't done much kicking at that stage. And we did like, like a two, three hour kicking session I think that day and that was the first time we came across each other. And so it's such a coincidence that we ended up been on the same team but I remember from that day like you were like a sponge just took in everything like you wanted to learn which is like, which I was like you'll be fine it was lovely to be part of your your start of your journey and actually to be part of it now again in a, in a different way I'm going teaching me to go playing beside me <laughs> <laughs> but yeah we're obviously in all of it at the time because two premiership winners and yeah it was class so and you have a test bit about your draft process and how you were approached um, I actually was on Instagram <laughs> before I was going to bed. Surprise, surprise. You got the new. <laughs> I could see like I had a request, nice. so I tapped into that and I had a DM from Reese. Just ask him was I interested in having a chat with him. I wasn't expecting much, I just said, yeah, I'll have a chat and it went from there. Who or what convinced you to go? Well, when I told my parents, they were shocked, <laughs> um, but they were delighted that I was getting the opportunity. Um, but they led it up to me, so it was fully my decision. Obviously, I'm still in the middle of college and stuff, so it was a big move. And who and what convinced you? Because you obviously had football going on out there and you had to move your whole life back home and then yeah. all the way back out. Uh, well, a huge opportunity, and to get back into the FLW system almost straight away was, you know, an opportunity I could not not jump at. So then when the opportunity came, I would have been stupid not to take it. So, and North is obviously a great club. We're delighted to have you. <laughs> <laughs> and what's been the hardest thing about adapting to the game? Obviously at home, like from day one, it's drilled into us like kick off our instep, mm -hmm. the inside of our boot. So it's trying to adapt, like kicking off the laces and stuff is different. And then the other one is the physicality of it. We're always like coached to keep our hands out um, and just attack the ball. Um, whereas here, <laughs> it's completely different. You have to shove and get your body on the line. So that's something I definitely need to improve on. And Eilish winning two flags with Crows. <laughs> um, what are you going to bring to us to help us this year? Yeah, I suppose been through the system for, for the last five seasons. It's, it's definitely, there's a lot of experience. And um, obviously Adelaide were an exceptional team and had quite a lot of success in the last couple of seasons. So I was very fortunate to be part of that. So being able to bring that experience to, to another team and you know what I've learned um, and obviously the challenges that come with AFLW. So, I suppose that experience of being on the winning and the losing side of grand finals is, is definitely experience that you can bring to, to a different team. And being the closest thing to an Aussie between the three of us, <laughs> what's the best and worst food in Australia, do you think? Best food is probably their Avo and eggs. They, they do a pretty good breakfast, brunch yeah. in, and coffee, of course. Yeah. Um, worst food, they seem to like their licorice here and I don't like licorice, so <laughs> I'm going to go with that for now. And what's your best and worst food, Australian? Um, <laughs> I'm very picky, so I haven't experienced much. <laughs> <laughs> Typical Irish. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of sticking to the Irish food. Like One thing I did notice is there isn't any turkey rashers here, which would have been my go-to at home, so I'm missing them. <laughs> and what do you miss most from home, Willis? Probably family and friends would be the, the major thing. It's the one thing you can't transport over when you're when you're over here, so everything else you can kind of manage without, but yeah, friends and family is probably the main thing. That's 100% anything that the three of us could relate to. And like, yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. And what's your one thing you miss the most from home? Definitely family and friends as well, but yeah. if I had to pick something else other than that, I'd say my mum's dinners. <laughs> <Same>. <laughs> I can't get them right. Um, I'm missing something. She sent me a few recipes and stuff, but I just, and get them up to scratch. It was great chatting to you guys and get to know you and I hope the North fans can get an insight of your lives and yeah, same time next week. <laughs> <laughs>